Mugalakshmi. Today we are going to discuss about the concept of Boolean algebra and some related problems to it. Boolean algebra is basically a choice between two options, yes or no, and high or low. These two options in Boolean algebra are represented as binary numbers 0 or 1, 0 for low and 1 for high. It is a concept that relates logic and mathematics which is a century old, made by the scientist George Boole in 1854. Later, the importance of Boolean algebra was realized in the design of computer circuits. Today we are in a digital world and most of the comforts that we experience is due to digitalization with the foundation based on Boolean algebra. The concept of high 1 and low 0 is not a new one. In fact, it was applied in telephone switching circuits by Shannon in 1938. Now let us see the loss of Boolean algebra. The NOT, OR and AND operations are the Boolean operations. The result of these operations are summarized below as complement law, OR law and AND law. So first let us see about complement law. Complement law is given by y is equal to a bar which is nothing but the complement of a that is when a is equal to 0 y is equal to a bar which is a complement of 0 which is 1. Similarly when a is equal to 1 y is equal to 1 bar which is equal to 0. So the complement law can be realized as a double bar is equal to a. This law is called as complement law. Next is the OR law. We know the logical operation of OR gate is addition. So when A is equal to 0, B is equal to 0, Y is equal to A plus B which is equal to 0 plus 0 which is 0. Next when A is equal to 0, B is equal to 1, Y is equal to 0 plus 1 which is equal to 1. Next, when a is equal to 1, b is equal to 0, y is equal to 1 plus 0 which is also 1. And finally, when a is equal to 1, b is equal to 1, the output y is equal to 1 plus 1 which is also equal to 1. So, using this law, the R law can be realized as 4 laws. The first law is a plus 0 is equal to a. Second law is a plus 1 is equal to 1. The third law is a plus a is equal to a. The final fourth or law is a plus a bar is equal to 1. These laws are categorized as or laws. Next we will see about and laws. The operation and is logically the multiplication. So when a is equal to 0, b is equal to 0, y is equal to 0 dot 0 that is 0 into 0 which is equal to 0. Next when a is equal to 0, b is equal to 1 the output y is equal to 0 dot 1 which is equal to 0. Similarly when a is equal to 1, b is equal to 0 the output y is equal to 1 dot 0 which is once again equal to 0. Finally, when a is equal to 1, b is equal to 1, the output y is equal to 1 dot 1, which is equal to 1. So, these outputs are categorized as 4 and loss as follows. The first law is a dot 0 is equal to 0. The second law is a dot 1 is equal to a. The third law is a dot a is equal to a and finally the fourth law is a dot a bar is equal to 0. These laws are generally called as AND laws. 
The Boolean operations obeys the following laws also. The commutative laws, associative laws and distributive laws. Commutative laws are A plus B is equal to B plus A. And also A dot B is equal to B dot A. The associative laws are A plus B plus C is equal to A plus B plus C. Similarly, A dot B dot C is equal to A dot B dot C. The distributive laws are A into B plus C is equal to AB plus AC. A plus BC is equal to A plus B into A plus C. The above laws are used to simplify the complicated expressions and to simplify the logic circuitry. So far we have discussed about the Boolean algebra. Now using this laws in Boolean algebra, we are going to solve some problems. Now the first problem is, Prove the Boolean identity AC plus ABC is equal to AC and give its circuit description. So first you have to prove this Boolean identity. Next for this identity we have to draw the circuit diagram. So first let us prove this identity. So first let us take the LHS of the equation. The LHS of the equation is AC plus ABC. So the first step is we will take the common terms outside. So in the above expression the common term is AC. So when you take AC common out the first term will have 1. So 1 plus in second term when AC is taken outside in second term it will be left behind with B. So AC into 1 plus B. We know the R law, second R law is 1 plus A is equal to 1. Here it is 1 plus B. So 1 plus B is also equal to 1 according to the R law 2. Hence the equation becomes AC dot 1. AC dot 1 is equal to AC. This is according to the AND law 2 which is A dot 1 is equal to A. So, finally, we have got the expression AC which is nothing but the RHS of the given equation. So, LHS is equal to RHS and thus the Boolean identity is proved. Now, for this identity, we have to draw the circuit diagram. First, we will draw the diagram for LHS which is AC plus ABC. A dot C means logical multiplication which is done with the help of an AND gate. The inputs A and C are fed to an AND gate and the output is A dot C. Next is the logical multiplication of A, B, C. So the inputs A, B and C are fed to an AND gate so that the final output is A, B, C. Next AC and ABC has to be logically added. So the outputs of the two AND gates are fed to a OR gate and the final output from a OR gate is AC plus ABC. This is for the LHS. Now we will draw the diagram for the RHS. RHS is very simple. It is just AC. Logical multiplication between A and C. So the inputs A and C are fed to an AND gate and the output from an AND gate is AC. Thus we have designed a circuit diagram for the Boolean identity AC plus ABC is equal to AC. Now the second problem. Prove the following Boolean expressions using the laws and theorems of Boolean algebra. First is A plus B into A plus B bar is equal to A. The second question is A into A bar plus B is equal to AB. The third one is A plus B into A plus C is equal to A plus BC. So one by one we will be doing. So let us start with the first one which is A plus B into A plus B bar is equal to A. 
Always we will start with the LHS. LHS is A plus B into A plus B bar. First we will multiply these two terms one by one. Normal multiplication. So A first term in the first bracket and this first term in the second bracket has to be multiplied. Followed by the second term. See how it is done. A dot A plus A dot B bar plus B dot A plus B dot B bar. The usual multiplication which we do in algebra. The same. So now the expression is A dot A plus A dot B bar plus B dot A plus B dot B bar. Now see the first term a dot a. a dot a is equal to a which is according to the third and law. So a dot a can be written as a. The second term is a dot b bar. Third term is b dot a. Fourth term is once again b dot b bar. b dot b bar is equal to 0. This is your fourth and law. So the equation becomes a plus a b bar plus b dot a. Now in these three terms we will be continuing. So a plus the second term and the third term has a as common. So taking a outside we have a plus a bar into b bar plus b. What is b bar plus b? b bar plus b is equal to 0 which is your fourth or law. So instead of b bar plus b we are going to substitute as 1. So the equation becomes a plus a into 1. a into 1 we know that it is a. Now what is a plus a? a plus a is once again equal to a which is your third or law. So the final answer what you got is a. Now see the RHS of the given equation. It is also A. So LHS is equal to RHS and hence the given identity is proved. Now we shall move on to the second problem which is A into A bar plus B is equal to AB. So as usual we will start with the LHS which is A into A bar plus B. First you will take A inside the bracket by ordinary multiplication. So it becomes A dot A bar plus AB. Now see the equation A dot A bar. What is A dot A bar? A dot A bar is equal to 0 which is your fourth and law. So the equation becomes 0 plus AB. 0 plus AB is equal to AB. So the final answer is AB. See the given expression. It is the RHS of the given equation. Hence LHS is equal to RHS. Thus this expression is also proved. Now we will move on to the third one. Third equation is A plus B into A plus C is equal to A plus B C. Always we will start with the LHS which is A plus B into A plus C. Ordinary multiplication A dot A plus A dot C plus B dot A plus B dot C. We know that A dot A is equal to A which is your third and law. plus AC plus B dot A plus BC. Now in the first term and second term we have got A as common. So taking A outside you get A into 1 plus C plus B dot A plus BC. What is 1 plus C? 1 plus C is again equal to 1 which is your second or law. So A into 1 plus B dot A is equal plus BC. A into 1 is once again A. So A plus B dot A plus B dot C. Now again see the first two terms. In first two terms A is common. So taking A outside you have A into 1 plus B plus BC. 1 plus B is once again equal to 1 which is your second or law. So 
a into 1 plus bc a into 1 is again a so a plus bc is the final answer now look at the given equation a plus bc is nothing your rhs hence lhs is equal to rhs and hence we have proved the third expression also The third problem, verify the given Boolean equation a plus a bar b is equal to a plus b using truth table. So, this we are going to verify using the truth table. So, giving the values to a as 0, 0, 1, 1 and simultaneously the value of b as 0, 1, 0, 1. So first we will find a bar which is the complement of a. So when a is equal to 0, a bar is equal to 1. And when a is equal to 1, a bar is equal to 0. So which is listed out in the column 2 of the truth table. Next we will find a bar dot b that is the logical multiplication of a bar and b. So, when a bar is equal to 1, b is equal to 0, a bar dot b will be equal to 0. And when a bar is equal to 1, b is equal to 1, a bar dot b will be equal to 1. And when a bar is equal to 0, b is equal to 0, a bar dot b will be equal to 0. And finally, when a bar is equal to 0, b is equal to 1, a bar dot b will be equal to 0. And these values are tabulated in column 5 of the given truth table. Next, we have to find a plus a bar b. That is, the logical addition between a and a bar b. So, when a is equal to 0, a bar b is equal to 0, a plus a bar b will be equal to 0. And when a is equal to 0, a bar b is equal to 1, a plus a bar b will be equal to 1. Because it is the logical addition. And similarly, when a is equal to 1, a bar b is equal to 0, a plus a bar b will be equal to 1. Finally, when a is equal to 1, a bar b is equal to 0, a plus a bar b will be equal to 1. And this result is tabulated in the last column. This represents the LHS of the given equation. Now we will move on to the RHS which is A plus B. And it is simple logic addition between A and B. So when A is equal to 0, B is equal to 0, A plus B will be equal to 0. And when A is equal to 0, B is equal to 1, A plus B will be equal to 1. And when a is equal to 1, b is equal to 0, a plus b will be equal to 1. And finally, when a is equal to 1, b is equal to 1, a plus b will be equal to 1. So, the result of these RHS are also tabulated in the column 4. You can find that column 6 is equal to column 4, which proves the relation a plus a bar b is equal to a plus b. Hence, we have proved this Boolean equation using the truth table. The fourth question. Write down the Boolean equation for the output y of the given circuit and give its truth table. So, for the given circuit, first we will write the Boolean equation. And then for the Boolean equation, we will write the truth table. In the first, now look at the circuit. The circuit contains three parts. In the first part of the circuit, the inputs A and B are fed to an AND gate. The logical expression for AND gate is A dot B. So, the output of the first part of the circuit is A dot B from the AND gate. Now, move on to the second part. In the second part, the inputs A and B are fed to a NOR gate. The logical expression for NOR gate is A plus B the whole bar. 
So the output of the second part of the circuit is A plus B the whole bar. So two part of the circuit is completed. Move on to the third part and the final part. The final part of the circuit's output is A dot B and A plus B the whole bar are fed to a OR gate. Hence the output will be A dot B plus A plus B the whole bar. Since the logical expression for OR gate is addition, now for the expression A dot B plus A plus B the whole bar, we have to write the truth table. So first we have framed the Boolean equation. Now we are going to write the truth table. So we will have the inputs of A as 0, 0, 1, 1 and B as 0, 1, 0, 1 which is listed in the column 1 and 2. Now we have to find A dot B that is the logical multiplication between A and B. So when A is equal to 0, B is equal to 0, A dot B is also equal to 0 because it is a logical multiplication. And A is equal to 0, B is equal to 1, A dot B is also equal to 0. And A is equal to 1, B is equal to 0 also the result is 0. Finally for A is equal to 1, B is equal to 1 only the output A dot B will be equal to 1. So this final output is tabulated in column 3. Next we will find A plus B that is the logical addition between A and B. So when A is equal to 0, B is equal to 0, A plus B is equal to 0. When A is equal to 0, B is equal to 1, A plus B is equal to 1. Just a addition. A is equal to 1, B is equal to 0, A plus B is equal to 1. And finally, when A is equal to 1, B is equal to 1, A plus B is also equal to 1. So, these results are tabulated in the truth table. Next, we have to find A plus B the whole bar. That is the complement of A plus B. So, when A plus B is equal to 0, A plus B bar will be equal to 1. And A plus B is equal to 1, A plus B bar will be equal to 0. So, the results are tabulated in column 5. Now, to the final part of the expression A dot B plus A plus B the whole bar. The outputs A dot B and A plus B the whole bar are logically added as follows. That is, when A dot B is equal to 0, A plus B the whole bar is equal to 1. A dot B plus A plus B the whole bar is also equal to 1. Logical addition. And A dot B is equal to 0. A plus B the whole bar is equal to 0. A dot B plus A plus B the whole bar is also equal to 0. And A dot B is equal to 0. A plus B the whole bar is equal to 0. A dot B plus A plus B the whole bar is also equal to 0. The last one, A dot B is equal to 1 and A plus B the whole bar is equal to 0. A dot B plus A plus B the whole bar is equal to 1. The results are tabulated in the sixth column of the truth table. Thus for the given circuit, the Boolean expression is written and the truth table is also framed.